Splunk Enterprise Security 8.0 revolutionizes the SOC workflow experience, enabling security analysts to seamlessly detect what matters, investigate holistically, and respond rapidly. Let's walk through some typical workflows in Splunk Enterprise Security so you can see these capabilities in action. Up first, let's talk about Analyst Queue. This is where security analysts spend the majority of their time triaging and investigating security alerts. When you select an alert, the side panel opens on the right. And this is where an analyst is able to consume all the details associated with that finding in the side panel. They can see the details around all of the details of the alert. They can review any adaptive responses. They can see any automation history. They can see next steps and any notes and comments that have been loaded in by SOAR or other analysts in the SOC. This side panel is designed to make quick triage processes very simple. So I'm able to go ahead and assign this to me, set the status as in progress, and then begin consuming the details of the alert. And then if I decide that uh, the disposition of this is say a true positive and I wanna take further action, I can make all those changes right away in one click. So a very refined workflow for uh, rapidly triaging their findings. Next, if I decide that I do have a true positive and something warrants a more detailed investigation, a key capability of Splunk Enterprise Security 8.0 is to be able to start investigations. So I'll click that option here. Now this launches the full capability of mission control so that SOC analysts can work together to investigate uh, security incidents. So what they can do is they can choose to start an investigation and then they see the details of that finding. And they also have now the ability to work on multiple findings together as part of a case. So actually, I'm gonna go back to the queue and I'm gonna pick another finding and add it to that investigation as well. So let's let this load up. And we see our new investigation right there, but I'll go ahead and take some of these other findings also associated with that user, add them to my existing investigation and click save and I'll go back in there. So you'll notice now in Enterprise Security 8.0, we have the ability to work on multiple findings as a group, as a case, and be able to consume both a uh, consolidated view of all the alerts or look at each alert in uh, isolation to see the details there. And so I can work on this as a case with my colleagues I can also utilize another very important feature of Enterprise Security 8.0. We call these response plans. I'm gonna to go to the response tab here and show you how that works. So the majority of security operations centers that we work with have a set of predefined procedures that need to be followed for potential security incidents. And typically the information is saved in something like a Confluence Wiki or some sort of documentation system. And then there's a workflow for the analyst uh, in that case to open that guide in a tab somewhere and then work alongside their SIM. We are completely streamlining how this works for our customers. And the way to add a predefined um, response plan is actually really simple. So you just um, go ahead and select the one that you want from within your investigation and, and launch it. You can also have these automatically launched by default if you configure the relevant response plans in your detections. And so how this works here is you have phases and tasks predefined, which lists the description and give you the opportunity to leave notes, comments, and even add files for screenshots or artifacts. And these can be assigned to various members of your team so that they can work in concert 
to rapidly triage and investigate the security incident. So each analyst is able to work on a task independently of other tasks, and then everybody gets a view when a task is complete. And um, you're able to add notes, comments, uh, files, and you're able to move through each phase of your response process um, as you were to con contain and eradicate the security threat. So this is a game changer for SOX to very, very rapidly in an organized manner directly within enterprise security, uh, prosecute and, and eradicate a security threat in their environment. So response plans is a huge capability and we're, we're still excited to bring this to all of our enterprise security customers. Next, let's talk about security detection content. You know, a very big important part of security analytics is the detection content that helps you find security threats. And Enterprise Security 8.0 has a number of enhancements in this area as well. First, uh, we have uh, event-based detections, which are very similar to correlation searches in previous versions of Enterprise Security. And these allow you to search uh, Splunk data, Splunk events for potential suspicious or malicious activity. And so you can create new ones of these uh, via the content management page, or you can utilize enterprise security content updates where we have uh, over a thousand uh, predefined security detections ready for you to use. And these event-based detections uh, give you a choice of what sort of finding you want to create. And there's two types of findings. There are intermediate findings and then, and then findings. Intermediate findings are recommended and these are observations created by event-based detections that indicate anomalies but not, may not be uh, security incidents on, on their own. Um, and so these allow you to basically just save an observable that we notice something odd that we may investigate later and have that recorded in the sim. And then if you see something that is truly indicative of a security incident and it needs to be investigated by an analyst right away, you have the option to set a finding um, with an event-based detection right away. And then all of the configuration that you have always had in enterprise security is still available with event-based detections. And so uh, all of the integrations with annotations, risk, conditions, throttling, adaptive responses, all that configurability is still there. We also have a new type of detection in Splunk Enterprise Security 8.0 we call finding-based detections. And finding-based detections are interesting because they only consume other findings and they create high confidence finding groups based on entity, threat object, risk threshold, or other options uh, to help you isolate security threats. And so, uh, like I said, they, they only consume other findings and you can choose which types of findings uh, a finding-based detection will Will consume. Um, in this case, I'll just say intermediate findings, and then you want to select the group type. And uh, just for a simple example, I'll choose entity. And so what this does is it looks at existing intermediate findings and then creates a finding group when a common entity meets um, or is it outside the specified count. So we're saying, hey, in this case, if there are greater than 10 intermediate findings for the same entity, give me a finding group. And so this is a really powerful capability that allows uh, security analysts to automatically aggregate their security alerts on the queue so that they don't have to do it later. And they're able to do this without writing a single line of SPL. This will be a game changer for security analysts to rapidly um, accelerate their, their time to detect and triage and, and investigate security threats. And uh, there are a number of other options that are available here and we'll be adding more in future releases. Now, once you specify how the finding based detection works, all of the other configuration that you would have on the analyst queue um, with annotations, with time ranges, with throttling, et cetera, is uh, configurable on finding based detections as well. One other brand new capability of Splunk Enterprise Security 8.0 is a capability we call detection versioning. Let me show you that now. So I've opened a, an event-based detection that we deliver um, from within its Splunk Enterprise Security content update. And I'm just gonna make a very quick change. I'm just gonna say test. 
So uh, now you'll notice we have this option. Instead of just saving, I have an option to save as a new version. And then I have the option to give a note if I like. And then when I save that, what happens here is a new version, This, in this case 1.3, is created of this detection. And you'll also notice that 1.3 is actually turned off. 1.2 is still turned on. And so what that means here is I have the ability to make changes to my detections without actually impacting what is running in production until I'm ready to make that change. And then if multiple individuals make those changes or Splunk makes an update to its security content, you're able to move amongst those versions and see the lineage of the detection from wherever the versions came from and be able to turn on and turn off whichever versions of a detection that you want to have at will. So I'll go ahead and go back to version 1.3 and I will turn that version on. Very great stuff. I think that uh, this is gonna help simplify a lot of content engineers' lives uh, when they're managing security content within enterprise security. Another amazing enhancement to Splunk Enterprise Security that's coming live in ESA.0 is a new direct integration with Splunk SOAR. So if you have a Splunk SOAR instance, you're able to go into the configuration of Enterprise Security, select the SOAR menu here, and pair your Splunk Enterprise Security instance with your Splunk SOAR instance. And then once you've done that, a whole new range of new capabilities become available to you right from within the workflows of Enterprise Security. One of those is the ability to run uh, automation, so playbooks and, and SOAR actions directly from within the analyst queue on your findings and finding groups. So for example, um, if I wanted to take the context available inside this finding and run a playbook, that option becomes available to me right from the analyst queue. And I'm able to go ahead and, and do that right there in about a click or two. So this is huge for being able to give the tools to analysts to, to take care of enrichment tasks or automated um, triage tasks or automated response tasks right from within the queue and, and get things done. Additionally, it's important to note that Splunk Store Automation Playbooks have full awareness of Splunk Enterprise Security 8.0. So they have the ability to manipulate findings and investigations um, right from within ES, a hugely powerful feature. Additionally, if I'm looking inside of uh, say a, a given investigation, um, all of the automation tools that I have available from that perspective are, are there as well. So let me just find an investigation in my queue and I'll go ahead and give that an open. Just a few details here. And then uh, I'll look at the automation tab and I can see from an investigation perspective, all of the automation history that is run. Um, so I can see exactly what was returned from that automation. So uh, a bunch of different uh, automations have run in this case for me and I can see all the results here uh, of that automation. So very powerful capability. And then of course, from the investigation context itself, have the ability to run playbooks or, or run individual op, uh, actions as well. So that's huge. Now, one other uh, integration and capability that's hugely powerful is the ability to automatically run automation without the analyst kicking it off from within a finding or an investigation. And the way to do that is actually um, with something, a new, new capability we've come up with called automation rules. So those are configured back in the settings here under automation rules. And what you can do is um, create an automation rule, which essentially marries a playbook with a detection or multiple detections, right? So you see in this case, we have a detection for malicious PowerShell process, and then we have a playbook um, for encoded PowerShell analysis that will automatically run when that detection fires. And then same thing here for risk findings, we have two detections that we want to do some enrichment on. And then we have risk findings enrich, which will automatically run when those two detections fire. So very, very, very powerful capabilities for integrating Splunk store automation directly into your investigation, triage and response process within Splunk Enterprise Security.